All right, so this is my fully functional 3D printed one by two by five. Now this is actually the second puzzle that I have designed and had 3D printed. So the turning on this puzzle is fairly decent. These long turns are a bit catchy, but for the most part, uh, they work well. These inner layers are very, very nice. They're comparable to the uh, Tom Z 1x2x3 that I had printed uh, a couple years ago. Uh, I printed another one, but unfortunately it warped a lot on the print bed, so it's not really fitting together. Uh, the outer layers, they're a little bit more difficult to turn. They catch a bit more. Uh, they're also a lot louder. One of them is a lot better than the other, though. So this one's really nice. Really nice. It's the easy, It's the best turning layer by far. But this one, a little more catchy, but it still works. I'm not really concerned about it catching and breaking or anything. And uh, overall, it's it's a fairly decent puzzle. This puzzle was actually quite a pain to get working. It mainly had to do with this core. I wasn't able to get the two pieces to just freely rotate and uh, not have any gap. So here are all the failed prototypes. I tried a lot more uh, like a Tom Z mechanism where I just had a pin, but the pin broke very easily. It was too small. Uh, I had another one where I would have this like pin that used friction, but uh, I was using the whole pin mechanism from another model, so it was it was causing problems with 3D printing, so it wouldn't print properly. Uh, and then I tried a big pin design, which worked, but it would keep coming un uh, undone. So I finally settled with a square pin design, which simply uses friction to keep the two together. So this is actually not glued together, except uh, this cap is glued on, but it's not actually holding the puzzle together. It's just... Uh, hiding the pin. As you can see, the finish on this puzzle is uh, actually not too, too bad. It, uh, it's a little rough in some places, like right here, but for the most part, uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, these were printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height, and this one was, or the outer edges and corners were printed at uh, 0.1 millimeter layer height. If anyone has a 3D printer and is interested in making one of these, I'll leave a link in the description to Thingiverse where I've uploaded the files. So, uh, yeah. One tip if you're going to make one, uh, print the pin with four perimeters so it's extra strong because it does take a bit of force to get it to fit, which is the whole point, so it keeps it nice and tight. Anyways, thanks for watching.